Death Stranding is one of the most divisive AAA titles released in recent years. And honestly, it stems from one core question. Is the game fun? Well, here comes the answer you've all been waiting for. The answer is... I don't know. Because if there's one thing that's an absolute in video games, it's that there's no clear answer on what exactly fun means. Now, honestly, you tell me right now, what is fun? What is your definition? Better yet, if you want something concrete and not objective, what is the definition of fun? Enjoyment, amusement, or lighthearted pleasure? So there you go. Now with that definition in play, can we answer whether or not Death Stranding is a fun game? Well, no, we can't answer that. Because the thing about fun in a video game is it's not unanimous. A game cannot be unanimously enjoyed by every person in the world. Because fun is a subjective thing. It's not a constant. And that's what makes the great variety of video games in this world so exciting. But here's the question. Is a game boring because its version of fun is different from the norm? If Death Stranding has one thing going for it, it has to be the level of uniqueness it brings to the table. I don't really feel there's been a game like Death Stranding before. Death Stranding already has a passionate following that's devoted to the positives of the game, discussing the beauty of the graphics, which by the way I just want to say are stunning, the fantastic story, and the necessity of the tedious moments to build on the idea of Death Stranding. Connecting the world. Death Stranding delivers a whole new concept by making the game more of a challenge initially, and then, with the help of others around the world, making it easier to traverse with time. It's a beautiful social experiment of people helping others with no true benefit to themselves, which for many people is part of what makes this game a masterpiece. But, while well, there's a side that adores this idea of the game, there's also a side that favors another idea. Death Stranding is a boring and not fun game. This has been an idea circling around in the opposition of many fans of the game. What is fun about a game where it's intentionally tedious? Why should playing a game ever feel like a chore? What is even the point of playing this game? Death Stranding has created a large crowd of people who don't find enjoyment in this game, at the very least in its aspect of gameplay. Most critics of the game tend to discuss how the game is stunning visually. Views on the story are rather polarizing, but the consensus of people who dislike the game is that it is lacking extremely in fun gameplay. Now this is concerning, because how could two groups of people have such a drastic idea of the game? Actually, it's quite simple. Fun is entirely opinion-based. There are some things that many of us agree on are fun, almost an overall consensus, but overall, the very concept of fun depends on the individual. So then, is the game boring because it's so different? Well, the answer is no. And yes, absolutely. Neither of these two arguments are wrong, because they're based around opinions. However, there are still some arguments within the central arguments that are just... odd. In terms of the hatred of the game, there are some who question what makes the game exciting, which is a fair question, I may add. But there are others who seem to completely miss features of the game while critiquing, saying, for example, that Death Stranding lacks gameplay, which is simply untrue. While the game utilizes a different, more tedious format of gameplay, with less focus on actual action, that is still gameplay. There's still a game there. This same form of odd argumentation can be found on the flip side, with fans of the game claiming that the game is supposed to be unfun. That's a weird thing to say. Now the thing about Death Stranding is that for the fans, it is a fun game, because they find enjoyment in what they're playing. To say the game is unfun defeats the purpose, as it claims there's no actual fun inside the game, and from the perspective of any consumer, why would you ever play a video game, something created to have fun, that lacks any actual enjoyment. The bottom line of it all is that fun has to exist in a video game, but that fun in the game is different for other people. I want to use The Last of Us as an argument here. The Last of Us has been criticized for being too slow and having not much going on during moments by some, which again is a fair opinion to have. But despite this, many people thoroughly enjoyed the game. And why is that? Because every game on this planet has enjoyment to be found in it. But that does not mean someone is being unreasonable or nitpicking when they don't find enjoyment in that game. There are many who didn't like aspects of The Last of Us, and that is perfectly fine. But just because someone dislikes a game like Death Stranding because they don't find enjoyment in it, does not mean they are upset because there's no guns in it, or they don't understand the game. 
And even then, that wouldn't be a problem. What if enjoyment for a person is shooting games? Call of Duty, Counter-Strike, Battlefield. Of course they wouldn't like Death Stranding. While there is shooting inside the game, it's not really the emphasis of the game. And what if the game is something that someone can't wrap their head around? The concept is just too foreign to them. Does that mean they are wrong in not enjoying it? Or does it mean that figuring out the reason a game is even considered a game can be a defining point of enjoying one? Or maybe they're just not playing it, right? Oh boy. Now we're gonna talk about Donkey. Video game Donkey's review of this game caused a ton of conflict and confrontation among fans of the game and those who were against it. For some, it's simply because he wasn't a fan of the game and they didn't like that. For others, Donkey said the game was bad, so the game was bad. But this is just the pointless aspects of the arguments, that, that means nothing in the grand scheme. The real important part of the review I'd like to discuss was Donkey attempting to climb mountains, drive bikes up cliffs, and use cars off-road. These points in his video were highlighting odd moments in the game when it comes to traversing the landscape. However, it sparked a lot of heated debate because of many people believing Donkey was playing the game wrong intentionally to paint it in a bad light. But hold on a minute. Playing the game wrong? Something about that saying just doesn't hit right. What is playing a game right? What is playing a game wrong? Is it going against the intent of the creator? Or going off the beaten path and doing things your own way? And even then, is playing the game wrong even a bad thing? Hear me out. For some people, this was Dunkey's strongest point as to why the game isn't worth buying. Because for many people, a game's fun is being able to get to the goal in any way you desire. For some games like The Last of Us, stealth is the intended approach in combat scenarios. Or you can just punch zombies in the face, I don't know, whatever you want. But some better examples to pick from, that many people like Dunkey enjoyed, is Metal Gear Solid V, another Kojima game like Death Stranding. You have your missions in Metal Gear, but how are you supposed to finish them? However you choose, you can approach the mission from a number of different perspectives. Stealthy, full-on assault, or ROCKET TO PAN! So for someone who finds enjoyment in games of freedom, what's the appeal of Death Stranding? Where playing how you want is playing wrong. For someone like Donkey, whose favorite game is Super Mario 64, where you can do the weirdest possible things to get a star, and the game still ends up rewarding you, it's entirely fair for the complaint of not being able to traverse mountains like a Skyrim character to be a negative of a game. Because here's the thing, that's an aspect of a game that's fun for some people. And as someone special once said, I don't know why people say that I look like Bowser. Wait, not that one, this one. If it's not fun, why bother? Death Stranding is one of the most unique and polarizing games of all time. But for many, its uniqueness and ability to stray away from the common notions of gameplay is a shining beacon of new ideas being brought forward in the video game world. But for others, this lack of normal gameplay is just not worth the time put in. Unable to play the game in their own way has hurt their sense of enjoyment and turned them away from this unique game. Now this whole video I've avoided any personal opinion because that's not really the point. I'm simply discussing that fun is a subjective idea and everyone I've mentioned in this video is right. In their own way. So for once, I'm gonna get personal. Is Death Stranding fun for me, Jimmy Bim? Well, not really. And that's okay, because for me, the game is not fun, but it's opened many doors for future games of a completely new style that many people seem to love. I'm looking forward to what we can see in the future, despite not personally enjoying the game. I hope everyone watching at this moment can take away one thing from this video. It's okay to not enjoy a game, but it's also okay to enjoy something that for others may be boring. So in the end, an answer to my original question of, is a game boring because its version of fun is different from the norm, is... No. And also yes, but the only way to know is to ask yourself, what does fun mean to me?